How to get your Ledger Wallet Nano S recognized in Linux. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get it working in a Ubuntu based distribution. I'm going to be using Linux Mint here. It'll work the same in Ubuntu. And I'm also going to show you in Manjaro Linux, which is an ARC based distribution. I have my Ledger Nano S plugged in and the Bitcoin wallet activated. It says use wallet to view accounts. I can open my Ledger wallet Bitcoin, but no matter what I do, it will not connect. The same will happen when I try to access the Ledger Wallet Ethereum. It won't connect, it won't synchronize, no matter what I do, nothing will happen. So I'll have to follow these instructions in order to get my Ledger Wallet recognized in Linux. For Ubuntu, it's very easy and very straightforward. You simply have to copy one command in order for it to create some rules in your Linux distribution. So I'm going to copy that command, wget command, and paste that into a terminal window. I'll hit enter and I'll type in my password. And that's it. Now it should be recognized when I open up my wallet. So I'll go open up the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin. And it synchronizes to my Ledger Nano S. We can see it's open now. I've used LTC for the example here. I'll switch my wallet over to Ethereum and open the Ethereum wallet. And again, it's opening the wallet. And that's it. So now your Ledger Nano S will work with your Ledger Wallet Bitcoin and your Ledger Wallet Ethereum. And now I'm in a different Linux distribution. I'm in Manjaro Arc Linux. When you try to access your Ledger Nano S through the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin, it will not synchronize. It will not find your Ledger Nano S. The same with the Ethereum wallet. No matter what you do, no matter how long you wait, it will not work. So to fix this, we have to follow the Arc Linux instructions down here. We're going to have to create a rules file and insert these rules into the file. So I'm going to navigate to the folder that it says here, etc udev rules.d. I'm going to copy the folder directory and then paste it in to my file manager. I'll hit enter and that will take me to the rules.d folder. This folder is empty, so I'm going to have to create a file. In order to do that, I'm going to have to open this in File Manager as root. So I'll go ahead and do that, type in my password. Now I have root access to this folder. I'm going to create a new text file and I'm going to copy the name from the instructions 20-hw1.rules. Hit OK and that will create the rules document, the rules file. I'm going to open this up with the text editor. I'm going to copy the rules, paste them in, and that's it. Now I just save this file. I can close it and I can go ahead and open my Ledger Wallet Bitcoin. And as you can see, it works. It opens up my wallet. The same with the Ledger Wallet Ethereum. It opens up, lets me select. I can go into my wallet. So again, now you should be able to access both your Ledger Wallet Bitcoin and your Ledger Wallet Ethereum without any problems. And that's how you get your Ledger Nano S to work in Linux. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped. And thanks for watching.